Welcome to our channel. My name is Oral McKenzie, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to identify and fix URLs blocked by a robot.txt file. And this channel, I teach social media marketing and help you solve your everyday tech problems. You know, I like sharing my knowledge with you because I strongly believe that knowledge is power and I want to empower you all. So if it's your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. If you're always wondering how exactly you can do this, this video is for you. So all you got to do is stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. So you might be wondering exactly what is robot.txt file. In a nutshell, website owners use robot.txt file to give instruction about their site to web um, robots. This is called the robot exclusion protocol. In other words, the disallow forward slash tells the robot that it should not visit any pages on this site or any other protocols that um, the web uh, website owners might put on their, their website. Now, in my case, while they were developing the site, they put, um, put on the disallow sign on it so that no web crawler or no search engine could access the site while it's being built, but they forgot to took it off and that was the problem. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can solve such a problem. So if you notice, I'm logged in to search console. And if you notice one of my property, it is saying that there are some severe health issues. So what we're gonna do is to check out what the health issues are by clicking on the robot.tester um, file to see exactly what is going on. So I'm just gonna click on that just right now. And we're actually waiting for it to actually load up. It's actually loading up. It should finish in a few seconds. And if you notice, when it loads up, it's saying this part is being blocked. And that part that is being blocked, it's actually the index page from a WordPress website. And that means that the web crawler cannot access my website. So let me show you. If you're particularly using this plugin known as Yoast that deal with SEO, then that sign actually means the index page of your WordPress um, website. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to head back over and show you what's going on. So what we want to do now is to do a quick test. So we're going to click on test. And if you notice the result that we get, it said that the part is being blocked. So what we're going to do from there is that we're going to try and, and run it a fetch as um, Google Web Crawler to see what result we're going to get. So we're actually fetching as Google Web Crawler now and we get the same result. The part is being blocked once more. So Google Web Crawler can't access my page. So what I'm going to do is to try to fetch and render it. So I'm actually fetch and rendering it now, and I got the same result again. It is the part is being blocked. What happened is that most time developers, when they're making their page, they actually block the part from the web crawler. I'm gonna try and fetch it one more time to see what result we get. So I'm gonna fetch and render again, and we're just waiting for it to load and we still get the same problem it is being blocked so i'm going to show you exactly how you can fix that another way to find out the files that are being blocked on your site is to type in your url click the forward slash and what you want to type in is robots.txt file and then you can just hit on the enter button and the other files that are blocked and this is from the wordpress site if you're using wordpress this the files that are blocked will actually be displayed. So if you notice right here, these um, files are also being blocked, but these files are actually cool. You don't want the web crawler or the search engine to be accessing these files. Now, if you're not using WordPress, what you want to do is to head over to your website hoster, access your file manager, and look for the specific files that is creating the problem and actually delete it, and that should solve the problem. Now, if you're actually using WordPress and in particular, you have um, this plugin known as Yoast SEO um, install, then the problem is very easy to fix. All you have to do is to go to the plugin, go to tools, and then what you want to go to, to do is to go to file editor. But just before I show you the fix, I want to make a disclaimer. If you don't have any knowledge about coding, or web development are you not sure exactly what you want you are going to do you'd want to consult or get some knowledge from somebody who is actually a web de developer or have knowledge with coding because if you make one simple mistake within the coding section the entire site could go down 
So be mindful of that. So what you want to do when the editor open is actually to scroll through to look at the file that is being blocked that is giving you the problem. In my case, it was this file that is, um, um, let me scroll on somewhere, it is somewhere right here. It was this file that said files match to this, then they're not being allowed on the site. But I've actually deleted mine just before the video to ensure that it is working and save the changes and edit everything and to ensure that everything is fine and it's working before I actually do a video about it. So I've done all of that already. So that's what you want to do. Look for the file and delete it and that should work. Now, after you do that, all you want to do is to come right here and click save changes. I didn't make any changes, but I'm still going to go ahead and click save changes. So I click save changes. So that should fix the problem. So let me go over now and show you that the problem is being actually fixed. Uh, so now we are back at the robot that takes a um, page and we're going to test now our URL again to see if there is still being something that is being blocking. So what we do, we type in back our URL name right here and we select um, Google bot. That's the one that we're going we're gonna to work with. And then we're going to click on test again to see if there's anything that's blocking. And if you notice, it said hello right here. Nothing is blocking again. So our site is now good to go. Everything here is being allowed. So now we're going to try to fetch as Google um, crawler. We're going to fetch as Google and see what will happen if we'll be getting any more blocks. So we're going to fetch as Google right now and see what the result we get. So fetch as Google and waiting for it to finish. And it's actually loading right here if you notice. And you notice it said the part it's complete it's requesting the index page it's now requesting the index page of the site so we are good to go and our site is good to go so thank you for making it to the end of the video and if the information that provided to you was valuable and you learned something I implore you to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any more of our upcoming video hit the like button and share this video and I would love to hear from you in the comment section what you think about this and if you are wanting to watch more videos from this channel if you look around on your screen you will see some more options you can just click on one of them thank you for watching